Grade 8 English lesson of St. Peter's College, Colombo 4, Nicaragua branch. Today our lesson is Active Voice and Passive Voice. Active Voice and Passive Voice. First, look at these two sentences given here. The boys fly kites. Kites are flown by the boys. The boys fly kites. Kites are flawed by the boys. When you look at these two sentences, you will see the way they are presented is different. But when you consider the meaning, the, the, these two sentences are in same meaning. The meaning is the same. So there are now two types of sentences you can understand here. They are active and passive. I'll explain them. Look at this one. The boys fly kites. Here, the subject or the doer is prominent. The boy. The doer is the boy. The boy flies kites. Or the boys fly kites. The doer is boys. They are prominent. They, they have come forward. So, this Sentence is active. In the second sentence, kites are flown by the boys. They are the word kites. Kites, uh, that word is the object of the previous sentence. Now here it has come prominent, come forward. So the the verb is also changed. You have you can see. There is an auxiliary or helping be verb has come here and this verb uh, has got its past participle form and the word by has come here. So the form of the present form of this sentence is different, that is passive voice sentence. You can see the explanation when the doer of the action is prominent. We call it an active voice sentence, the doer or uh, the subject of the sentence. When it comes forward, it is an active voice. When the object has come forward or when the object is prominent, it is called passive voice sentence. Look at this one. Look at this sentence. My mom prepares delicious food. My mom prepares delicious food. Here, my mom is the subject or the doer of the sentence. Prepares the verb or the action. Food, object. Food is the object. So, when you turn these into passive, you need this object at the beginning of the passive sentence like this. Delicious food. See, the object of the previous sentence has come forward here. Delicious food is prepared. The verb is changed. It has got is auxiliary be verb here. Prepared is the past participle form of the given verb. And there's a word by. After that, you have got the subject of the previous sentence. So this is a passive voice sentence. Delicious food is prepared by my mom. The boys play football. This is an active voice sentence because the doer of the sentence has come forward. It is a prominent of the sentence. The boys play football, active voice. When we take this object at the beginning and auxiliary be verb and past participle form of the verb is there. So the verb by is also there. This is passive voice. Football is played by the boys. The girl eats a banana at the interval. That is active because the girl, the doer is active here. A banana is eaten by the girl at the interval. That is 
passive voice sentence. A banana. Here you can see the object. A banana it has come forward in the second sentence. So this is passive voice sentence. My sister plays of scotch. That is active because my sister. The doer of the this action has come forward. It is prominent in this sentence. But hopscotch. This is the object here. It has come forward in the second sentence. And you have got auxiliary be verb and also past participle form of the verb is here. So is played. The word by is there. So you can identify this as passive voice sentence. How to identify a passive voice sentence? These are the uh, steps that I have explained now. In a passive voice sentence, we can see the object has come forward. I explained it earlier. Uh, the object comes forward. The verb gets an auxiliary be verb followed by the past participle form of the verb. The verb by. Sorry, here you have to write word here. The word by is added if necessary only. Uh, we use this word uh, not, not always. We don't use it always. If it is necessary only we use it because uh, in some passive sentences we do not want to mention the doer. If we don't want to mention the doer we do not use this word. The doer is shown after the word by. Uh, in a passive sentence after the word by we will can, we can see the doer of the previous sentence. If the, if the doer is a pronoun, if the given sentence, uh, in active sentence, if the doer is a pronoun, definitely you will have to turn it into object pronoun after the word by. Uh, I just remind you the pronouns. I, we, you, they, he, she, it. These are the subject pronouns. When you write these subject pronouns after the word by, you will have to turn them into object pronouns and write like this. If it is I, you will have to write it as me. That is the object pronoun. I, me, we, us, you, you. The same word. Uh, they, them, he, him, she, her, it, it. These things you have learnt in your smaller classes but you have to recall your memory now at this lesson. Right, look at this one. He does the work carefully. That is an active voice sentence. Uh, when it is turned into passive, it is like this. The work is done carefully by him. What has happened here? Uh, the work, this is the object in this sentence, so it has come forward, then does, the verb does get is and past participle form of the, be, uh, past participle form of the given verb is done carefully by him, or you can say the work is done by him carefully. We can see these active voice sentences and passive voice sentences in different tenses. Not only one tense. Here I have presented in simple present tense. But we can see in different tenses. In this lesson we are learning only simple present tense. Now I am going to remind you what simple present tense is. Uh, the, you can identify simple present tense. Uh, it gets S to work if the subject is in third person singular. She plays hide and seek. You can see the subject is third person singular here. She. So the verb has got S. So this is simple present tense sentence. She plays hide and seek. He drives his car carefully. He third person singular subject. The verb has got S. He drives his car carefully. It barks at strangers. It, third person singular subject. The verb has got S. 
it barks at strangers. So these are the third person singular subject for present tense. He, she, it and we can get some names like a singular noun. We can say like a teacher, my mother, the driver, like he, she, it, a singular noun also. They are third person singular subjects. Here see Sham. Shama is a singular noun. So Shama teachers teach. You have got yes there, teachers English. The teacher, third person singular subject. So the verb has got is there. The teacher explains the lesson clearly. My mother, third person singular subject, prepares. The verb has got is there, delicious food. My mother prepares delicious food. Simple present tense does not give is for other subjects. That means first person and third person plural, second person. These subjects do not want is for verb. I read my notes every day here. The word I is not third person. So you can see no is for verb. We discuss the study matters. The word we is plural. It is not third person singular. So the verb has not got s. We discuss this. We discuss the study matters. If I write here she, what happened? She discusses. It will be she discusses. But here this is not third person. So no is for verb. They play cricket. They, not third person singular. So no is for verb. You sing beautiful songs. This is not third person singular. No is for verb. All these sentences are simple present tense, but no s here in the verbs because subjects are not in third person singular form. All the above written sentences are in simple present tense. Let's turn the active voice into passive voice. This is the important part in this lesson. Here you can see this. We can change the sentence into passive only if we get an object. There are sentences that we don't get objects in them. So when we get such sentences, we can't change them into passive voice. If you find object in the active voice only, you can change them into passive like this. The teacher explains the lesson clearly. Here you can see the object, the lesson it is the object. So we can change this into passive. What do you do? The step one. This is the first step. Write the given object at the beginning. In the second sentence, first you have to write this object at the beginning. The lesson. So you are writing the lesson here. Then the second step. Decide the suitable helping be verb is or are. After the, after the object is written, you will have to decide the suitable be verb according to the number of the written object. Number means singular or plural. According to the number of the written object, you will have to decide the helping be verb. That is step 2. Step 3 is uh, you will have to find the past participle verb, past participle form of the verb uh, from the verb list. Uh, in study pack 1, I, know, I think I have sent you this uh, three column verb list. I have told you to study them by heart. So in the third column you get past participle form of the verbs. So from that only you can find uh, this step 3. Get the past participle form of the given be verb from the verb list. Then what do you do after that? Write the subject in the given sentence in object. 
in object form after the word but. The given sentence, do you have a subject in active voice sentence? So you have to take it at the at the end for this sentence. The last uh, step. Now write the rest of the given sentence. It is easy. Okay, let's go to this sentence one by one. I read my notes every day. That is an active voice. I prominent there. I, I, the word I is the doer. So this is the active voice sentence. Now for step one, uh, as a first step, I will take, I will have to find out the object from this sentence. What is the object here? I read my notes every day. What do I do? I read. What do I read? My notes. My notes. That is the object. So I will have to write this object at the beginning of the second sentence. My notes. Step 1. Then let's go to step 2 and 3 together. We will have to find out the suitable B verb according to this. My notes. That is a plural now. So we need is or are. What do you select? For plural auxiliary are. Yes, we need R and red. How do you find this, this word? From the verb list, from the third column of the verb list. My notes are red. Now here first sentence, I read my notes. But here my notes are red. Here read, it has become R red. My notes are red. Next step. Now we have got my notes are red. Now in fourth step we need the word by. After the word by we will have to find out the object form of I. I think you can remember here the object form of I is me. My notes are read by me every day. That is the rest of the sentence. This is completed passive voice sentence. Let's go to the active voice again. I read my notes every day. The passive voice is my notes are read by me every day. Next example. They play cricket. This is an active voice. They. This is the subject. Play. This is the verb. Cricket. What do they play? Cricket. This is the object. Cricket is... Sorry. So, we now step one. What do you do? How to, how to change this into passive? Step one. Can you remember? Yes. We need to find out the object and write it at the beginning. So, the object is cricket. We will write it at the beginning. Object of the given sentence. Cricket. That is step one. Now step two, we will have to decide the auxiliary according to the number of the object, the written object. According to the number, number means singular or plural. Cricket, it is singular, so I have, I have to decide auxiliary is for this. Cricket is. Played, this is the past participle form of play. When you go to the list, you will find this word in the third column. Is played. Cricket is played. Now we will have to add the word by. Then they. This word they. This subject. This is a pronoun. So after the word by, this pronoun will become object form. They, them. By them. Cricket is played by them. Right, next example. She, she cleans her room every morning. Here, subject is she cleans verb. Her room is the object. So, step one, find object and write it at the beginning. Her room, that is the object. So, you have to write it at the beginning. Her room. Then, 
according to this object you will have to select the suitable beaver that is is because this is singular so you need is clean you have selected past participle form of clean from the list so clean you have got is clean then you write the word by after the word by she becomes her object form object form of this pronoun she her her room is cleaned by her every morning that is the rest of the sentence my father repairs vehicles what is the object in this sentence the first sentence my father repairs vehicles my father is the subject repairs verb vehicles is object so write this word at the beginning vehicles vehicles the word vehicles is a plural word the number of this object is plural so we need the auxiliary r here repair 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 this is the past participle form of this verb so we have got this verb from the third column of the verb list vehicles are repaired the word by is added by my father this is not a pronoun so we just write the same word here if it is pronoun only we will have to turn it into the object form she her but here we do not want to change it it is not pronoun so we just write it as the same my father my father my father repairs vehicles vehicles are repaired by my father right i think uh, it is clear enough let's go to activities now identify these sentences and mark them in the brackets whether they are active voice or passive voice just to identify and right? let's try it uh, here the example is given the house is built by mr pereira so with the brackets you will have to identify whether it is active or passive right? you have to mention it here right first one i always work hard is it passive or active i the doer is i always work hard there is no by there so uh, the doer is prominent here so this sentence is active just write active here active voice editing is done within few seconds is this active voice or passive voice how do you identify you can see is done easily you can identify with this verb auxiliary verb is there past participle form is there so this is passive voice editing is done within few seconds that is passive my days are started very early in the dawn these sentences are taken from your textbook uh, if you have a doubt you can go to your textbook and find out these sentences editing is done my days are started very early in the morning here are started are started this is the helping auxiliary verb started past participle form of the verb uh, so this is passive just write here passive she interviews the politicians interviews here you can see s here third person singular subject she third person singular so it has got s there she interviews the politicians uh, this is simple present tense active voice sentence kites are made by the boys you can see the word by here and also auxiliary helping be verb and past past participle form of the verb are made by are made by easily you can say this is a passive voice sentence just write passive the furniture made by the carpenter the furniture uh, you have missed one word 
the furniture is made by the carpenter. Please write easier. There's a mistake. The furniture is made by the carpenter. The furniture is made by the carpenter. This is a passive voice sentence. Is made. Is auxiliary helping the verb and past participle form of the verb and also the word but. That is how you identify a passive voice sentence. These are the characteristics. The lesson is explained by the teacher. Here easily identified is and explained and also the word by. So this is also a passive voice sentence. Passive. The news is telecasted at 8 p.m. Is there a telecaster? Is telecaster? So this is past participle form and auxiliary helping be verb. The news is telecaster. This is a passive voice sentence. He makes lion masks. What do you think this? He makes lion masks. This is he is third person singular subject. He is the doer. Uh, doer is the prominent here. So means uh, verb gets s. This is active voice sentence in uh, simple present tense. He makes. Rochelle recites beautiful poems. Rochelle is a girl. Recites that present singular verb has got s there. So this is active voice sentence. Let's write active here. Now the second activity, turn these into passive. You have to turn all these sentences into passive. I just help you for a few. The boys, the boy flies a kite. The boy flies a kite. That is a simple present tense sentence. Uh, what is the object here? A kite. So for passive voice sentence, you need to write this a kite. At the beginning, a kind. So then you need auxiliary verb or helping be verb. According to the number of this object, you will have to decide the helping be verb. This is a singular verb. So you need is. Flies. What is the past participle form of flies? Go to your list and see. Fly, flew, last column, flown. The, a kite is flown, then you need the word by, after the word by, the boy. A kite is flown by the boy. This one. They play football. What is the object here? Football. So first step you need to write football at the beginning. Then find out the auxiliary verb. Football is singular. So write football is. Play becomes played. Football is played by. They will become them. Football is played by them. She completes the work immediately. She completes the work immediately. Here what is the object? The work. The work. So first step you will write the verb at the beginning, then find out the auxiliary be verb according to the number of this object. The verb is singular. So you need is. The verb is completes. Find out the past participle form of this verb in the, in the third column. Completed. The work is completed by she becomes her. The work is completed by her immediately. We watch teledramas. We watch teledramas. Teledramas is the object. This is the object. It is singular. So it gets is as auxiliary verb. And teledrama is watched. Watched by us. We becomes us. Teledrama is watched by us. My father drives his car very carefully. 
my father doer of the sentence subject verb his car object so we have to take this the word his car at the beginning it is singular so we need is drive becomes driven his car is driven by my father very carefully his car is driven by my father very carefully right i think i have you up to 5 you can do the rest without my help let's go to next activity give past participle form of these verbs bet but i am not going to help you with this you will have to find out from your list and write bet buy catch dig feel hand hold fall keep lead light make sell shoot spend sweep teach understand tear shake find past participle form of all these verbs now next activity make 10 active sentences in simple present tense using 10 verbs from the given list you need to write active voice 10 sentences in simple present tense 10 sentences in simple present tense active voice sentences you have to find the verbs from the given list now i have given a list there after that you have to turn those 10 sentences into passive voice that is your last activity i hope i will see your books when you come to school uh, i think you will do it very uh, carefully and i hope to see you soon god bless you